So when people hear the word totalitarian, they often think of secret police, you know, men in jackboots, and concentration camps, or gulags, or mass surveillance. And all those features are important, but the real starting point and the, the, the core of a totalitarian system is an ideology that monopolizes what counts as rationality and what counts as knowledge, what counts as a legitimate question to ask. So if you raise your hand and ask an inconvenient question, the Marxist ideologue or the Nazi ideologue or the fascist ideologue doesn't say, hey, Jan, let's, let's sit down and, and debate this question. Or you present your evidence and I'll present mine and we'll try to learn from one another. They simply say, no, you're questioning the ideology because you're infected with bourgeois consciousness or, you know, for the Nazi, you're just infected with Jew consciousness. You're protecting your own class-based interest or you're protecting your own, um, uh, you know, your own uh, interest to advance your aims and therefore you're not worth talking to, right? You're not part of the enlightened elites that understand the direction of history, that understand where things need to go. And so I'm not going to debate you, I'm just going to exclude you from public conversation. That's where the concentration camps and the gulags and the secret police come in to enforce the ideology. One of the reasons I think now, today, in Western countries, which we don't tend to think of as totalitarian, one of the reasons that I'm very concerned about the direction that we're moving is because if you look at uh, new phenomena, new trends like government-sponsored censorship, they mirror that starting point of totalitarian systems. They, they put forward a particular ideology or partic particular public policy proposal and say, citizens are not allowed to question this. Citizens are not allowed to present evidence that might call this public policy into question. And in fact, if they do so, we're going to label them as dangerous. We're going to algorithmically, let's say, in, you know, on social media, exclude them from the realm of public conversation. We're going to limit their reach. We're going to limit the ability of other people to hear their ideas. This is where totalitarian systems always begin. And in fact, this is where totalitarian systems always end up. Once the ideology is sufficiently adopted, by an, enough members of the population, once, once people get used to the idea that I'm not allowed to ask questions and they just internalize those prohibitions, at, at the end point of that process, you don't even need concentration camps or secret police or mass surveillance anymore because every citizen becomes a, a, a member of the Gestapo or the KGB. Every citizen starts silencing uh, their fellow citizens if they raise any inconvenient questions that might challenge the ideology. This, according to Hannah Arendt, who studied the totalitarian systems of the 20th century, uh, this becomes then the worst form of imprisonment, in a sense. Uh, and she, drew, she draws a distinction between dictatorships that rule through external force, and they rule by means of instilling fear in the population. You know, I'm not going to say the wrong thing because I don't want to get punished by the regime. Uh, I'm not going to challenge the dictatorial ruler and his ideas because, you know, he might then come down on me or do something to harm me or harm my family. A totalitarian regime uses external force initially to try to funnel people into the ideology, but eventually the totalitarian system no longer needs to use external force because people have internalized the ideology. In a dictatorship, you still at least have the interior freedom, even if your exterior freedom is constrained, you still have the interior freedom to think your own thoughts and to have your own opinions and to have your own judgments. And, you, know, you might voice them only very carefully uh, and you might not voice them at all, but you, could still, you can still you know, think them on your own. But in a totalitarian system, at the, in a perfectly enacted totalitarian system, you don't even have that because the ideology has become so internalized that the questions no longer occur to you. The dissenting thoughts no longer occur to you. You're in a prison with invisible bars 
without even realizing that, you, 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 that, that you're in prison. Your interior freedom has also been subsumed into that totalitarian system. Don't forget to subscribe to our Alerts newsletter and you'll never miss an episode.